hello welcome back this tutorial will be on how to fix this page is not working or responding and is not currently unable to handle the request or http error 500 if you are using whmcs you need to go to your whmcs login first and go to the account list simply go to this collect panel after that simply go to this C panel which your domain is being handled or hosted upon and the cpanel opens still our site is not working and here we need to find and check the php version of it if it's on the lower version then it might cause some issue so let's find the php version first for shortcut i'm using with the ctrl f and the windows command f in the mac now let's go for two of the option multi php manager and multi php any editor i n i editor here we can see the domain is with the latest version of the php currently the php version 8.2 it's up to date now let's go on the multi php any editor select the domain which we are having the issue now here we can simply see the display underscore error option which is disabled and we are going to enable it we enabled simply apply it now let's once refresh it now it's showing the error which part of the code or the portion is being affected it says open the cpanel it's public underscore html and the domain the domain main part index.php getting issue on it in your case it might different so now let's open the file manager from cpanel go to the public underscore html and find out the exact domain which are having issue and on it we are going to look for the index.php simply edit it yeah simply here we can see the extra vagins code which is placed by mistake or by the bot or by the system we simply need to remove this part just select from this rubbish code and simply click on save changes now again let's come to the site and refresh it once now it's showing the next error it's on the domain slash wp minus inputs slash blocks the index.php okay so we need to find the exactly where the code lies come to the c panel and on the domain I'll find the domain and simply go to this wp dash inputs option and the blocks option we can find the index dot php here as well we simply edit it the same code again appears here so i need to remove it we simply select the code from last to first or first to the exact point where we need to remove it or delete it we simply click on save changes now let's refresh it once now it's working you might get the same issue but the path might be different simply figure out the thing and fix it in a way you can fix the website error the wordpress website if you found anything issue regarding the process please let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you see you on the next one